Yes, so welcome on board again today, my wonderful viewers. So from the brief intro you've seen, you see that today we'll be dealing with bricks. So what exactly is brick? Brick, 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 brick. Yes, it's a very common feature, just from the layman point of view, bringing something to a halt. So I'll going, I'll be using a car scenario as an example. When a moving, when an object is moving, there is a possibility that at a particular point in time you want to bring it to a brick. That means you want to stop it from moving. And going by the history of the scientific study of braking system, it is well known that any moving object will not want to come to a halt. It will want to continue in a state of motion, from what we call the Newton laws of motion, which are for those who come from the science background will understand what I'm just talking about. So, an object will want to continue in that state of motion until it is being acted upon by an external force. So, where exactly would this external force come into play? From the case of the turntable, let's first look at what this brick is about first from the image I'm going to show you now. So this is it. This is the brick. So this is a sample of one. Look at it. You can see how cycle it is. It looks like your turntable, right? And there and this there is something by the side here. This is it when it is in a car. So these are the different images of the braking system of a car. So this part is a rotating part that rotates with your tire until when you exert a force within your driver side then there is a mechanism here that ex excites another pressure on this particular element that makes it to come to a halt and you cannot come to a halt at once it has to be on a gradual process which means you will be moving from a higher speed to a lower speed by, decele by decelerating gradually so this concept is now being used on the normal tone table where when you now play around the disc you will now exert some little pressure and bring it to a stop and then allow it to start again which is now a skill in the dj world let's have a look at the turntables so this is what your finished turntable look like the common one that we use today so you need to understand that yes take a careful look at this you see now that you've seen this i'm going to show you another one from the history of the dj devices so this is it you can clearly see so this is what most of how our turntables are made they are made individually with an amplifier in between sorry i'm going to show you another image again so this is another one again so this is it you can see them individually here you can see this one is having somebody trying to control it using his hand i'm going to scroll down i'm going to show you another one again so you can see them individually this is it with a deck on it so this deck is just like the brake disc that we use in cars this is the playhead that you pick and you keep on the deck that is why those days when they want to stop they stop the song the song will stop gradually then they remove this playhead from the before loading on that track so all these individual elements are things that made up the dj gears how it all started it started at individual players with an amplifier in between let's get to see let me go back to the other image again so that will show you something you can see if you take a look at this particular dj gear this is a dj gear that is very common this is you see that these are the individual play playhead or turntables one here one here then this is an amplifier in between so the amplifier is just like a device that pick the individual information from this deck and this deck and then put them together for processing and then passing it out to the speakers to work together so we now have other features you can see them you can see them you can see them so look at it you can see if you take a look at this this one gives a clear demonstration let me open it fully so that you see what i'm talking about sorry i had to go back to the history so that you get to appreciate some of this thing you will see that this one is an individual device of its own a player then this is the amplifier in between then this is the man hand on it this is another player so those who have been in the dj world for years you get to appreciate this it's just that the computer has made it easier now for a lot of things to be married together in one place so let's go over now to, to our virtual dj 
So since you now have an idea on what I'm talking about, so it means as this deck is currently playing, just watch. I'm going to use this hand and press the mouse. Look at it. You see? Look at it. This is my hand. The deck is playing. My hand is on it. So this is it. Just watch. You can see. So this is exactly what you do. In this case, the, the turntable is big, is big there for you. You just keep your hand on it slowly. Then it will break. Then if you leave it, it continues again. So there are different ways in which we play around with this feature. Let's get to see it in more details. So this is the break effect. It, it is an effect. We are going to see the mapping soon. So this break doesn't just happen at once. It happens on a particular range. It means you have the distance in which it covers. For you to see the distance, you need to come here. Then you go to the settings. Then when you, when you go to the settings, when you go to the settings, you now see it tell us that we have 1.63 uh, microseconds. It means it's going to break for a distance of 1.63 microseconds. So you can adjust this from here, either higher or lower, so that it can determine how you want the break to be. This is not, it doesn't end in this feature alone. These are other features elements that are associated with it. This one too is also part of it. So you do the adjustment, depend on how you want it. We are going to adjust it now. I'm going to reduce it very well. Just watch. You see, it came to a halt at once. Even though there is a little break, but it's somehow at a halt. So I'm going to remove it. I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to play. I'm going to take it to a higher level. You just watch. So you can see how it's going down gradually, 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 gradually before it came, comes to a stop. So this is another part of it. So in this case, we are using it at, at the middle stage. So this is it. It's just halfway. So you notice the changes too on this other side. So that is how the brick system is. So we are going to see the mapping. The mapping is very simple, not much. So this is it. We have this is our full stop with this is our full stop with comma. When you click it, you see effect underscore active. Then the brick is in the quotation mark. This means this is the action that we want it to be there, to be executed. So this one is just calling on the command. And this is the command that will be executed. It's in a double quotation, just like what we talk about in several videos where I talk about the mapping. So you get to understand that this is the argument. It means there are a lot of effect, but in this case, pick the break start. So this is the break start. So you can actually use the same command again to start the break, to start the song at the beginning again after stopping it. So that is the beauty of this. Then when you are dealing with it, you pick a particular phrase of the song where you want it. Just watch. So you see how it sounds very nice. So I pick it, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I pick up the part of it, the start of it. I say, yeah. You don't just pick it randomly. So you need to familiarize yourself with how you pick the part of the song that you play around with. So that is how simple like, it can be. So you get to appreciate it as time goes on. So. For those who are in the aviation field, you get to understand that during the landing process of an aircraft, this same principle is also being used. So you don't just land that brutally. It means your distance at which you come down, that means you decelerate from the higher altitude to a lower altitude is well calculated so that you don't end up crash landing. The same process during touching of the ground, if you have ever boarded an aircraft, you notice that that time when the aircraft touches the ground, you want to be moving away from the seat. That is why they ask you to put on the seat belt. So because of that effect of motion that is always being executed, a brake system is always being put into place to ensure that the system works effectively to avoid brake failure. You have the manual for the case of the aircraft, you have the manual brake system, and you have the air brake system and a host of other systems that brakes the aircraft to a halt. Sorry, you might not know, you might be curious on how I know all these things, don't worry. With time you get to appreciate it. Let's get over to you. Yes. Don't worry. Don't worry, buddy. 
who is taking you to where you don't know don't worry you will soon get to where you, you will soon know where you are taking you to so just keep it in the channel let's continue to enjoy ourselves let's continue to learn let's continue to give them Okay, 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 okay. So good day based on the reference 